We have breaking news today. A high-speed chase ends in a crash, landing two teenagers in Strickland Youth Center. NBC 15's Rachel Wilkerson was first on the scene when the chase ended. Rachel, police say that car was stolen by a couple of 15-year-olds. Yeah, Kim and Greg, MPD says it's crime after crime for Mobile's teenagers. In the last two days, we have had uh, two sets of different juveniles that have been taken into custody after operating a vehicle that were reported stolen. A scary situation. Two 15-year-old teenagers eluding police in a stolen vehicle before crashing onto Wall Street. The pursuit started on government at Washington Avenue. The teens sped down Washington Avenue, turned on the I-10 westbound service road, hit a tree, tried to continue driving in reverse, then attempted to flee the scene on foot, but officers were right there to grab them. You're putting uh, innocent lives in, in danger. I mean, he could have easily ran that light and, and it would have ended up a lot worse than what it did. No one was injured in the chase, but witnesses say it could have been much worse. They're questioning why were two teenagers today zooming from police in a stolen vehicle instead of hitting the books. It's sad when you send your kids out the door thinking that they're in school and they're doing other things. It's just so sad. Try to stay out the way, man. Finish school. School is the best thing that can happen to you. Anything that you want to do, you can do it. Just put your mind to it. So, I mean, everything that's going on out here, don't let it adapt to you. Don't don't get caught on to what's going on out here. Just think first. They're pleading for teenagers to stop putting their life and in innocent bystanders at risk. I mean, there's consequences of everything that you do do. So, I mean, just slow down a little bit. It's, it's, it's more to life than just violence and all this other extra stuff that's going along out here. So. Both teenagers were taken to Strickland Youth Center. The driver is charged with receiving stolen property and eluding police. The passenger is also charged with attempting to elude police. Greg.